Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Really good day today. First of all, Chainlink broke a new all-time high. You know what that means? That means Zeus Capital or the false Zeus Capital, the LLC, not the investment firm, had to liquidate. I believe Zeus Capital's liquidation number was like 1117 or something like that and it's way above that. So them, uh, they that tried to FUD Link actually had to pay a dear, dear price. Sad story for them. Happy story for the rest of us. That just means if you take a short position and then try to pay people to fund it, you will be sorry. So right now, they are very, very sorry because they did actually have to liquidate. And right now, we're way above their liquidation price at over $12. So uh, their little spiel didn't work. The Chainlink Marines are very vengeful and they pumped that price up like crazy. But the reason that Chainlink actually pumped um, is really, there's an overall Oracle coins pump, if you haven't noticed, like Band, Teller, Zap, DOS, they're kind of all up uh, pretty majorly right now. So people see like Chain, these uh, Oracle coins are kind of like the new FOMO. Chainlink is not uh, by itself because Band is way, way, way up as well. They are some of the best performers this week. Um, not really sure how long this um, Oracle FOMO is going to last. I mean, I think... Oracles will definitely continue to grow as long as DeFi grows, which will grow. I mean, there's despite all the scams and stuff that's in DeFi, that the inevitable scams, the fact that it's not actually ready, I'm sure there'll be a several pullbacks, but DeFi is going to be a large part of future finance, especially in parts of the world where there are a lot of people that are actually unbanked. So I'm not really too worried about the future. I don't know if all the DeFi's right now, the five or six right now, are all going to survive or if they're all going to be big. But Chainlink is actually leading the pack, even though it ha hasn't been the one that's actually pumped the most in terms of ROI. But it is safer than the others, and it is, does have more of a use case and more partnerships than the other Oracle coins. So it's been an overall um, DeFi uh, Oracle pump, and that's basically fueled by the growth of DeFi plus a lot of the new partnership news that Chainlink has. I think all the other DeFi coins basically been riding Chainlink's coattails because people look at Chainlink as an example of what they actually could be. So they're all writing Chainlink's coattails. Obviously, the smaller ones are actually pumping more. The, la the next thing is that VeChain has actually surpassed two cents. Um, it actually surpassed two cents a few days ago, but now it's actually more clear of two cents than it used to be. Um, right now, VET is 2.08 cents, almost 2.1 cents, up 10.59 for the day. So not nearly up as much as Chainlink, but way up way more than Bitcoin. Now, part of this could just be that VET like, kind of was, was dormant while Bitcoin rose um, the last couple of days or the last week or so, and now it's just catching up. Other parts of it could be the VTHO burn is slowly increasing for VET. And not only that, VChain has had some big partnerships in the last week with Avery Dennison and with MasterCard and Alibaba. So people might have finally um, been able to take notice of that and that's why VET is actually up in price. Regardless whether it's just following Bitcoin on a delayed schedule or whether people have finally taken care of the news, taken uh, kind of like taken back to the news, it is way, way up and now it's over two cents. Hopefully it can charge its way up to 2.5 and three cents and maybe even break my uh, yearly kind of outlook for it at five cents. So VChain is way up, Chainlink's broken a new high and all oracles are actually pumping. Been a great day. Hope you made a lot of money. I know I've made some money today because of VeChain. Don't have any link, unfortunately, but because of VeChain, I made some money. Still waiting for that ADA pump, and I do think that will actually come this month, but we'll see actually what happens. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you, and have a nice day.